let's go over probably my favorite addition to the MPC or to any piece of gear in recent years. And it's just awesome. This is how I've wanted to chop and I've envisioned chopping for the longest time and now we could do it. So, all that said, let's check out manual chop and let me show you guys how to do what we call a lazy chop. All right, so I'm gonna jump to sample edit mode and you know, just show you guys this. I mean, you can hear the excitement in my voice because it's just so awesome. All right, so let me just really quick show you the controls, all right, of manual chop. Now you'll see now under chop two, you have a new edition of manual. Now, you still have threshold, region, and BPM, but it's gonna to default to manual, and it's probably gonna be what you use for most of the time. Now you have your cue controls for manual. Your, your cue control right here from your hardware, where you can actually move your playhead with either your data wheel, and then you can fine tune it with Q15. Okay, and then once you got to a point you wanna create a slice, you could go ahead and hit the slice plus button, which is F6. And I would have my first slice created. Let me undo that. All right, so now this is really, really, really cool. You could play your sample and while it's playing, press that F6 button to create your slices in real time. That combined with scrubbing is lazy chop. All right, so what I did here is, okay, I got my drums, I already did a BPM detect, and my sample is on beat. We'll listen to it real quick, so. So it sounds good. Now there's two ways you could do this. You could do this with your drums playing under it, or you could do it without. Whatever works better for you. So what you do to start your sample, you would hit either F5 for Q play to have it start playing, or you could hit your play pad, play sample, or play all. Now before we start the lazy chop, one point I should bring up is if you want your very first chop at the very beginning of the sample, you're gonna wanna press slice plus before you even start it. So that's what we're gonna do here. We're gonna press slice plus and you'll see this little red marker right here indicates we have our first slice created. And then when we press slice plus again, further down in the sample, it'll create our second slice and so on. So let's go ahead and let's do the damn thing. Let's do a lazy chop, boy. Oh man, love this. Second slice. You can go back in and fine tune these if you want later. I can get them pretty close. I mean, this is next level. Something, I mean, I've, I've dreamed about doing this, guys. So I'm gonna stop right there. You could go through the whole song, but there I got 10 slices created. I could audition them from the pads and I could fine tune them. All right, so at this point I got the 10 slices and what's really nice is the scrub feature. This is really what makes it lazy chop too. So if I'm kind of bored at this part of the wave and I just want to get way deeper into the wave and continue, I could just scrub over to say like right here and I'll press my play cue. It starts from there and then continue on to slice. So I'm gonna zoom in here, really fine tune these. So 
So just like that, we got all her stuff edited up, sounded good, and we would be ready to chop. Okay, so at this point, we're ready to convert our chops to a program and proceed to making the beat. Headless horseman, Nickabod brain kick. In the gallow, do you want to hang with? Has skill, I spit, use your brain shit. You can't change me. My skull is thick. Nixon and Tracy, I'm the same dick. Me and Mike shake hands like Dylan and Dutch. I love rap, but haven't been feeling it much. Maybe I'm hollering notes out of touch. Branded Cobra Law, now there's talk of hanging them up. Shout out to snakes that I trust. This is for midi rated confusion and dust. I'm repping for us until my sign reads Green Mile of Bust. The winds of spare change are riling up. These winds are piling up with the weather.